Hi, and thanks for choosing Pebblehost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can get your Discord bot to join your Discord server. So first of all, we're going to create a new application. So at discord.com slash developers slash applications, this will also be the description, we want to click new application. From here, we're then putting a name, I'm going to call mine Pebble, and then click create. Once you're in here, of course, you can change anything you want in here. I've now uploaded a profile picture, I'll click save changes. So as I said, you can change anything you want here. But the next thing you want to go to is on the left, you want to click bot. Once you're in this menu, you then want to click add bot. Click yes to it. And as you can see, it has created a bot for you. Then we want to select reset token. Then once again, click yes to it. If you do have 2FA enabled, you want to put in your code. So I've just put in mine. And as you can see, we've been given a token. You want to make sure that you don't share this token. As once someone gets a spot token, they'll pretty much be able to do anything they want with the bot. I'm only showing mine for this example, and it will be immediately reset after this video. We're then going to click copy, and we're then going to open a notepad, so here we go. And I've just pasted it in as we will need that later. We can then minimize that. Of course, change anything you want here as well, but we're then going to go on the left to OAuth2. Once we're in here, we're going to go to the URL generator. Of course, you want to select the scope that you need. I'm going to select bot, and then of course the bot permissions you want as well. Obviously you can set whatever you want for this. I'm going to give it administrator just to make it easy. And as you can see if I unselect it, I just select some random ones, the number at the bottom will actually start changing depending on what I have selected. So each option you select will actually determine what your link is. So make sure you select all the ones you want, and then click copy. From here, we'll then make a new tab, and we'll then put in the URL. It will then ask you if you want to connect your application to Discord. You will then select your server. This is a Pebblehost tutorial server. We'll then click continue. As you can see, this is the permission I gave it earlier. We'll then click authorize, select I am human, and now it has been authorized. So if we go to our Discord server, as you can see, our Pebblebot has now joined the server. However, it is currently offline. So what we need to do is we need to attach this to our Pebblehost bot hosting plan. So from here, we're gonna go to Pebblehost. We're gonna go to our file manager. And then from here, you're going to go into the file where you can put the token. For me, this is config.example.yml. Then, of course, find your token line, remove the token that's in there by default, and then bring up the notepad we made earlier. So here we have our token, we'll then copy it, and then we'll paste it in here. Once you put your token in, we'll then click save. And then from there, we'll restart our server. And as you can see, Pebblehost says our bot is now online. If after restarting your server, it still doesn't start up, go to the console, and from there, you'll probably see this line. You have not created a config file. Please rename config.example.yml to config.yml, then edit these settings. So in order to do this, we have to go back to the file manager. Once we're in the file manager, you want to find your config file. Yours might be named a bit different, but this is mine here, config.example.yml. We're then going to click this box next to it, and then click rename. From here, we're then just going to remove example, and then also the second dot, so it is now config.yml. Now we've done that, we'll click rename, then we'll click back, and then finally we'll restart our server. And after that change, as you can see, our bot is now online. And if we go to our server, as you can see, our Pebble bot is now online. So hopefully this video did help. If it did, definitely leave a like and subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you next time.